Hi. Welcome back. To another episode. In the previous episode, we learned about DMAT account. It's a must have. If you're looking to invest in the stock market. But did you know that a DMAT account can be used for more than just buying and selling stocks? Let's take a look at some of the other investment options which are available through a DMAT account. Option 1. Stocks. With a DMAT account, you can invest in individual stocks listed on various stock exchanges. You can buy and sell stocks and hold them in your DMAT account. Option 2. Mutual funds. Mutual funds are managed by professional fund managers who use their expertise to make investment decisions on behalf of investors, which can reduce risk and potentially lead to better returns. With a DMAT account, you can buy mutual funds in SIP or one time investment models. Starting from a minimum investment of 500 rupees. Mutual funds are relatively an easy way for individual investors to invest in the financial markets. Log into your account and choose the mutual fund that best fits your investment needs. Three ETFs. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund, which is a type of investment fund that is traded on stock exchanges, just like individual stocks. Just type ETF and search in your DMAT account. All the available ETF investments will pop up. Alternatively, you can visit the NSE website to obtain a comprehensive list of all ETF investments. The link to the website is provided in the description. Gold is a popular ETF investment method because gold ETFs provide a convenient, secure, and cost effective way. To invest in gold. 4. Bonds. To buy government bonds, you can start by visiting the NSE website. The website lists various types of government bonds, including treasury bills, government securities and state development loans. Once you finalize the bond you want to buy, copy the symbol. And search for the bond in your trading account. You can enter the quantity you want to buy and click on the buy button. This will initiate the process of buying the bond. Government bonds are considered safe because they are typically backed by the full faith and credit of the government. This means that the government is seen as being able to repay its debts and interest payments in a timely manner, making them a low risk investment option. It is important to note that you will only receive the interest payment if you hold the bond on the interest payment date.
5. IPO. Log into your account. And. You will find. All the ongoing IPOs. And. Past IPOs. In the IPO tab. You can apply for the ongoing IPOs by providing details such as UPI ID, number of lots, and bid price. Six rights issue. A rights issue is when a company gives its existing shareholders the option to buy additional shares at a discounted price. Shareholders can choose to participate by buying discounted shares or letting their rights expire if they don't want to invest more. You can find all the active rights issue in the NSE website. 7. Offer for sale or OFS. An offer for sale is a process in which the promoters or owners of a company sell their shares to outside investors, typically through a public offering. On a stock exchange. The primary purpose of this sale is to raise additional funds for the company. You can find all the active, upcoming, and past offer for sale information on the NSE website. Conclusion A DMAT account offers a gateway to diverse investment options in the Indian market, including stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and ETFs. With careful research and Professional guidance. You can capitalize on these opportunities to build a well rounded and potentially rewarding portfolio for your financial goals. Stay tuned. Thank you.